Hi, this is Bill Hayhurst from TelQuest Tech Support. I've put together this training DVD to help you understand how to program the IP Office basic mode. In order for you to be qualified for tech support, you are required to go through this training DVD actively. That is, set up your own KSU and go through each of the programs individually. The hands-on approach will help you understand many of the different aspects of the system well before you go out on the job and try to do it in the field. I've put together a few hints and tips here in the introduction section to help you get started quicker and avoid some of the pitfalls that other technicians have found. So let's get started. Take out your KSU, get your computer ready, and here we go. First, here's some tips about installing the IP Office suite of programs into your computer. Number one, it's not compatible with Vista, so keep that in mind. It will work well with XP and Windows 7. So put in DVD number one of the official Avaya release 8.1 DVD. Navigate to this point here where you see Admin CD. Double click on it. You'll see a series of different programs. You scroll down until you see this area here where it says IP Office Admin Suite MSI. Double click on that. If you have a different view like this here, you'll have to search it out. In my case, it's right here, IP Office Admin Suite.msi. Also, in some cases, your computer may not show you the extension .msi. Look for this icon and double click on it. Once you do that, the installation of the IP Office suite of programs will take place automatically. Just answer the questions that pop up. Once you've installed the manager program, you can find the icon and double click on it. Once the manager program starts running, you may see something like this. Now, in my case, I have several systems connected to the network. But if you do see a pop-up box like this, real simple. Click right over here on Cancel and close it down. Before we even attempt to connect to the KSU, we have to get a few things straightened out in our computer. Since we're going to be trying to use the IP Office basic mode, we have to tell the manager program to work that way. So we go up here in the upper left hand corner, click on File, and we go down to Preferences and click on that. Here, where it says Default to Standard Mode, we want to uncheck that. We also want to go up here to the Security Mode and if secure communications happens to be checked, uncheck it. All right, we, we click OK. Now that we've done that, we can click on Open Configuration from System. It's going to open up this box. It's going to discover any and all KSUs on the network. In this case, the 8.1 KSU that we're working with is right here. You check the box, you click OK. The password is the same as the service username. So you can cut and paste that if you like. And as we wait, the system should come up. What we're actually doing is pulling the configuration of the system into the computer. We go up here on View, click on that. We go down to Hide Admin Tasks. This is something you need to do every single time. Once we do that, you'll see here that this area of gray uh, options comes up and this will match the training DVD 100 percent. I did forget to mention one thing mainly because my KSU has already been optioned to be in the basic mode. Initially when you go through that screen a pop-up will come up and ask you which mode you want to operate in basic partner, standard, or standard server. Since this is basic partner training that's right you'll go ahead and check the basic partner and click OK. After that, you'll have to click the blue floppy disk in the upper left hand corner to go ahead and activate that feature. And it takes about three or four minutes for the system to reboot and complete that. All right, now that you're connected to the KSU, we can make one more change that only needs to be made one time. And this will make your life a lot easier. Go up here in the left hand corner, click on File, go down to Preferences, click on that. 
go to the security tab right here click on it and these first two boxes mine are already unchecked but yours will be checked so make yours look like mine uncheck them what this will do is stop the system from asking you for a password every time you try to save something what it will also do is stop the configuration program from closing down every time you make a change so after you made those look like mine just go down here and click OK one more item I'd like to go over is the connection of the KSU and your computer many technicians will plug the cable from the computer directly into the LAN port on the KSU after two years of tech support I've come to the conclusion that this method at best is unreliable you have a 50 50 chance of this working in addition to that a via statement says that this method is not recommended when upgrading the KSU so I strongly urge you to plug the KSU and your computer into a router and use that as the go-between you'll have much more success in connecting to the system in addition to that in the training video to follow there's an area there in system where it shows you an IP address this will not work accurately unless you have it plugged into a router as well as other features like SIP trunks voicemail notification by email or remote programming you should make every effort to connect the KSU at the customer's site to their network unless they simply won't allow you to this is an IP telephone system and without an internet connection it's a telephone system if you use the direct cable connection method whereby you're going from your computer to the KSU directly without the benefit of a router and you're unable to connect if you call us all we can do is tell you to get a router so use the router method and you'll be much happier and much more successful at connecting to the KSU here is a little tip on installing the cards first off the first card goes in the leftmost slot of the front of the KSU if you're using a combo card you can see here that the first six ports one two three four five six are for Avaya digital telephones the next two ports seven and eight are for any type of analog single line station telephone including fax machines the final four ports 9 10 11 and 12 are for CO lines and the combo card already has the ATM analog chunk module card installed so it's ready to go for four CO lines now I brought up the ETR card enhanced tip and ring this is the card that you would use if you're going to be using partner 18d 34d 6d type telephones you can see here that it has six ports for those phones uh, one two three four five and six you can connect up to six telephones ports seven and eight are power failure pack positions nine ten eleven and twelve are ready for co lines however you must install the optional ATM trunk card analog trunk module in order for them to work there are no CO lines by default on the ETR card the third card I don't have a picture of it it's the digital 8 station card however it has one two three four five six seven eight digital extension ports on it and it has four CO line ports on it as well however it does require the optional ATM analog trunk module card to allow the CO lines to work this is not on the card out of the box it's optional I hope you found this information useful to help you get started with the IP office basic mode KSU if you're already a TelQuest customer you can begin using your self-guided training DVD at this time if you're not a TelQuest customer give us a call we'll be more than glad to speak to you to tell you how you can obtain your own free copy of our DVD training video. This is Bill Hayhurst once again. Thanks for watching the video.